Millions of people around the world will don all green ensembles and order Guinness this March 17th. But I bet there's a lot you don't know about the patron saint of Ireland. Legend has it that St. Patrick was born in Roman Britain and then kidnapped by raiders and brought to Ireland as a slave, escaping after six years in captivity. Later in life, he became a priest and returned to the Emerald Isle to spread Christianity. As time went on, the mythology of his life became ever more ingrained in Irish culture. Myth has it that he banished all the snakes from Ireland, which is believed to be a metaphor for ending paganism there. People also say that he used the three leaves of the Irish clover to explain the Holy Trinity. Since the 9th or 10th century, people have been observing the feast day of St. Patrick. It's said that during the 18th century, people in Ireland would wear shamrocks on their clothing, a tradition that would turn into wearing all green. The St. Patrick's Day Parade actually began in New York in 1762. The story is that Irish soldiers serving the British military marched to the streets to a pub on the feast day of St. Patrick, taking pride in their Irish heritage. Over the following decades, Irish patriotism among American immigrants flourished, and many groups based on common ancestry were formed. As Irish immigration to the U.S. swelled toward the end of the 19th century due to the Great Potato Famine, Irish aid groups were larger than ever. In 1848, several societies decided to unite their parades to form one official New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade. Today, it is the world's oldest civilian parade and the largest in the U.S., with more than 150,000 participants annually. Big parades also take place in Boston, Chicago, Philadelphia, and Savannah, Georgia. In Ireland, it remained a religious holiday until the 1990s, when the Irish government harnessed enthusiasm for the celebration to drive tourism and showcase Irish culture. Today, people all over the world celebrate St. Patrick's Day.